Okay, so this is uh, Professor Gilman, and I want to talk to you today about data transformation and what happens um, to the center and spread of a distribution um, under certain types of transformations. And so uh, what I did in this report is I have simulated the leg spans of spiders collected, okay, uh, and the information is in Arthropod's uh, 2015 article by, I know I'm not saying this right, but I'm going to say Farzana and Newman, okay? And so they um, gathered up 75 spiders <clears throat> in Pakistan, and they recorded the mean and the standard deviation lengths. And so what I did was I took the Huntsman leg uh, span data uh, from that article, and put it into here and so what I did was I I just had it simulate all 75 of them because it didn't actually tell me what the 75 <coughs> excuse me leg spans were um, so I just d made a normal distribution and randomly generated this data alright and so what we want to do is we want to look at uh, the data alright and we want to look at its mean all right, um, so that's what I'm going to do now. It's mean and standard deviation. I want to look at transformations to the data for the mean and the standard deviation and the range. And so in this data, uh, I'm going to go to stat and then the summary stats and then the column. And I'm going to look at the mean and the standard deviation. Sorry about that, and the range, right? I'm going to compute that. Oh, I forgot to click the column. All right, I'm going to compute that. So here it is, okay? Uh, I'm going to put it right there. So the mean is 1.87. Um, the mean that they got was actually 1.90, so we're very close to that. And then the standard deviation they got was 0.20. I've got basically 0.201. One, all right, and then a range of 1.13. All right, so now, um, what if I subtracted from the mean to center it at zero? All right, in our last video, we saw that the normal distribution was at zero. Okay, and so what if I subtract 1.8723 from all of the data values so that the mean then should be centered at zero? So I'm actually going to go to data, and I'm going to go to compute, and I'm going to compute an expression. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take leg span, and from that I am going to subtract the 1.8721. Right, just round it to four decimal places. And I'm going to click compute. And now I have a brand new column, leg span minus, all right? And uh, you can see that the values are much smaller now, right? So this one's slightly negative, um, this one's slightly positive, and these are very close to the actual mean. So what I want to do now is I want to calculate the summary stats again for just the mean, the standard deviation, and the range. And now you can see that the mean is basically zero, all right, to the fourth decimal place, all right. So by subtracting this amount from everything, I've effectively centered the mean at zero. And so now this represents an above average length leg, and this represents a below average length leg. But the standard deviation is exactly the same. That is unchanged. And the range is exactly the same. That is unchanged and so if you look at the report that I developed um, you can see that and I also wanted you to notice that uh, because all the data underwent the transformation it only slides down the horizontal axis okay so because I subtracted this number from every single spider
Basically, I just slid it down the horizontal axis, and you can see this in the histograms. And so here's the original mean median and the normal curve overlaid over it, and you can see it's a very nice fit, um, but the mode is right here at 1.8. And so you can see that exact same hump and the two outliers. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't pull it up far enough. The, the two uh, outliers, the little hump, but now I'm centered at zero. Okay, so the shape is essentially the same for both histograms. Um, it's just that now instead of being at centered at 1.8, it's now centered at zero. Okay. Now, what if I wanted to make the standard deviation one? Well, the standard deviation was 0 0.20. So, what if I multiplied the data by a factor of five? All right. And let's see if we can make the standard deviation one. So, I'm going to go back over here. And I don't guess I need this one anymore. So, I'm going to get rid of that one. I'm going to do summary stats, columns. Uh, Oh, wait, I'm, gonna, I'm computing, sorry. All right, so I'm going to take that leg span, but instead of subtracting, I'm going to take the original leg span, and I'm going to multiply it by 5 and compute it. All right, and now you can see um, that that original leg span over here has been multiplied by 5, and so instead of being um, almost 2, it's now almost 10. This one is 1.4, and so now it is uh, 7.19. And so what effect does that have on the measure of center and the measures of spread? And so now I'm going to go to my summary stats again and look at the column. And I'm going to calculate the mean, the standard deviation, and the range. One more time. And now as I look at it, my mean is now five times bigger, my standard deviation is now five times bigger, and my range is now five times bigger. So by multiplying by five, um, I have increased all of my measures. All right? And so now if we look at this, um, and while we can see that the data has a new center and spread, it retains the same shape as it did before the transformations. And you can see the two gap, I call them outliers, they're not really outliers, but the two that look like outliers, the one hump overlaid over the normal curve looks very much um, the same. And so what does this mean? So to summarize our report, basically adding and subtracting change the measure of center by the same amount that I added or subtracted, but not the measures of spread. Um, multiplying and dividing changes the measures of center and spread by the same factor, whatever you multiplied by or whatever you divided by. Um, but it doesn't change the shape of the histogram, and that makes us happy. Um, here, I'm going to put the link uh, to this report in the comments so that you can look at it and play around with the data yourself or have it up while you watch the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and subscribe.